Hello everyone, Marco255 here, and welcome back to another video. I need to talk about some things relating to this mod before getting into the ranking first. So, as you all probably know, this mod was cancelled fairly recently, with a cancelled build releasing not too long ago. Whilst it is so damn unfortunate that this mod was this close to being finished, then swept away from all of us in a single day, all the cancelled builds feel finished because the mod was going to release this month. I really respect everyone on the team for pouring their heart and soul into this incredible passion project, and I want to show my appreciation for them by doing this video. That's kind of the main reason why I wanted to do this series in the first place, honestly. I feel like this mod is a lot more opinionated than others in terms of the best song, as pretty much every song that be cast is your favourite depending on your preferences, there's just so much variety. This list has definitely changed the most out of any other list for an RMS video I've made, so yeah. Anyways, I love everyone on the team, and I love everything in this mod, so let's rank it. Before we start the ranking, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and click the notifications bell so you know when I'll upload next. I got a lot of stuff planned for 100 subs, and I want you to see what it is. With that being said, let's rank the songs in Hypnos Lullaby, version 2. 17. Purin. I feel very bad for putting this song at the bottom for some reason, maybe because it's made by Jakaris, the guy who made Fourth Ball from Funkin' at Freddy's. Anyways, I think that Jigglypuff's chromatic doesn't really fit with Pico's too well, and the tone changes from Jigglytuff's to Pico's tones is very jarring and just doesn't work well for me. I love the art, I wish that the stuff for the reverse bit was finished, and I find this Jigglypuff genuinely unsettling, so yeah, not all's mediocre with this. Don't worry, as the other Chikara song is much higher. 16. Shinto This song's just kind of funny. There's not really much I can say about it, honestly. Shinto's Chromatic is kind of a less serious version of Hypno's, and it's got just a huge jovial nature to it, which is funny, but not something I really want to listen to that much. Huh? 15. Safety Lullaby. All the new versions of the original songs are far better in my opinion, and this one doesn't disappoint. There's a comment on the official upload which relates this song to the final date where this mod was in development, and that really makes this song feel very different and much more unsettling. With that sort of idea, it really makes this song feel more special, but when just looking at the song, it's kind of just Lavender Town with lyrics. They're still good lyrics, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing to write home about. 14. Amusia Pretty shocked too. This is made by the Chad Sasta, and you'd think that would make me place it much higher considering the amount I've obsessed over their music before, but no. Nope. I don't really like Wiggly Tuff's chromatic, and nothing about this song truly stands out to me, surprisingly. I like the way Wiggly Tuff misses notes and constantly changes how much they're staring at you though, and the end is pretty sad. Thirteen, bygone purpose. Yeah. 
yet another song which I'm surprised of its placement, this one being higher than expected. It's got such a melancholy tone which works so damn well, and it feels like something you'd hear near the end of a movie or something. The second half coming in with the change in look of Hypno is super cool too. This song makes you feel all the emotions Hypno feels at those moments. Confusion and somberness at the beginning, and anger at the end. The gospel in the second half really gets me, I'm a sucker for that stuff. 12. Left Unchecked. I feel like I kinda just am not that big a fan of Adam McComas' music, honestly. This is still really good, better than the original by a long shot, but something about it just doesn't hit me as well as other songs. I don't really have anything to say as well, it's left unchecked, moving on. 11. Insomnia. I hella thought this would be much lower. The normal turns at the drop sound really good and this is just such a fun time. I do feel like this should have been a lot shorter though, because by the halfway mark you're pretty much used to the visuals and you're bored of them and you just want to move on to monochrome for Christ's sake and start trying that for an hour. Because of how little things are happening, it gets a lot more boring. The score speed changes aren't enough. The scrapped ending cutscene is cooler. I'm dead. 10. Monochrome. This bitch just had to get even more annoying with the goddamn typing by increasing the song length, huh? The new stuff is super cool and so is the song. I never really got the obsession over this song in version 1 and whilst this obviously does improve a ton, I still don't think it should have been the fan favourite. I mean, every song in version 2 could be anyone's favourite in my eyes, so yeah. 9. Lost Cause See, I told you Chikaris' other song would be this high. Chikaris said he prefers Purin as the vocals for this were just kind of added on as a last minute addition, but the vocals still work so damn well to me and make the song. It's such an intense, exciting way to end Hypno's week perfectly. Also, Hypno here is goddamn terrifying, what the fuck? 8. Death Toll I feel like this is the served of this mod, where I think this will go higher in the list over time. It's got a great feel, Dawn and the old man's chromatics are awesome, and the change is super cool. I am going to be boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. Not a lot to say, but hey. 7. 
Pasta Night. I don't think there could have been a cooler idea for a song in the mod. A ton of creepypasta characters coming together to play a good old round of Uno or the Pokemon TCG. The casino vibe this gives is so good, the chromatics work so well together, and it works perfectly as a celebration of all the crazy cool mods having been made. Oh, I'm excited for Merry Madness version 2 by the way. 6. Frostbite badly wanted to place this song higher, but that would have just been lying to myself. This is the song I played the most from the mod. Why? I don't know, honestly. I don't really know why I love this song so much, it's got a very depressing feel and just works for me. Also, if we got that ending shit where Pikachu just busted out of Silver's chest, that would have been so cool. 5. Brimstone Contrasting the last song, this is the one I've least played. Why? I don't know, honestly. It's got so much in it that never gets old, unlike Insomnia. From Gengar and Muck on Buried Alive's side, to us having goddamn missing no on us, to the white hand turning into girlfriend, this is just so cool. Speaking of being cool, that's what all the new chromatics are, especially Gengar's. I love that one more than I should, honestly. This song never gets old and is endlessly fun to play. There's a reason why this one was heavily anticipated. 4. Isotope I always unexpectedly loved this one ever since the release. It's very simple in terms of composition, but it just gets everything right. Glitchy Bread's chromatic is so good, the change to make everything more glitchy is so good, and goes so hard, and of course, Red's voice lines. Such an exciting third end to an overall gem of a song. 3. Missing No. This was my favourite in version 1, and the innuendo just had to make it hit even harder, didn't he? Innuendo really went all out on this mod, didn't he? From Isotope to Pasta Night to this. Anyway, yeah, this improves on a song that didn't need improving, and I love it. From the beginning being very unsettling, then changing the BPM out of nowhere and making the song truly start, to the glitches being very cool and working so well and being on time with the song, god I love it. This is another song I've had on repeat ever since the release. 2. Shit No.
Why the fuck did I have this song so low before? It's so damn dramatic, the chromatics are great, all the turns sound godlike, everything about this song is so damn good. There's not a lot to say about it, but it just has everything. The story behind the events is also pretty funny, it makes the song funnier due to how dramatic it is. 1. Dissension Holy crap. Out of all the songs to be number one, this was not one I had in mind. The instrumental is what makes this one shine to me. It is so damn intense and viscerally dreadful in the best way imaginable. The chromatics work so damn well together, the moments reflecting the creepypasta are so much more intense due to the song. God, this is just legendary. <laughs> The gospel, again, just makes this sore to me. It just makes it so much more impactful of a song. We need more FNF songs with gospels, bro. This is the best song Simply Crispy has made in my opinion. Yeah, better than You Can't Run Encore, I said it. I'm so happy that everyone on the team for this mod was able to release everything they made for it when it was being developed. All their hard work was worth it in my eyes. I hope the team can move on from what happened and do other things that they want to do and just be happy with what they're doing. Even with this one cancelled, there's still so many projects to get excited about, like Mario's Madness version 2, Imposter version 4, etc. So, let's pray to the almighty gods and hope that we can actually see the end of their productions. Anyways guys, that just about does it for today's video everybody, I really hope you all enjoyed it. And if you like my channel, then why not subscribe, click the like button, check out these videos, share with friends and family, check out my Twitch channel, and click the bell so that you'll be notified when any new videos come out. Anyways guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>